Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy One of a Kind, and today, as you guys can tell from the title of the video, we are going to be working on the Robalo. So, um, I'm really recording this 10 minutes after I uh, recorded the last video. Um, but anyway guys, you guys saw the boat. It's a nice, nice boat. It's awesome. It's a big step up for the channel, big step up for me. So, as you guys can tell, it's not water ready. It's really, really good bones, but it needs a little bit of work till we can get on the water. So, unfortunately, let me tell you guys a story. I was, we got a lot of rain and I know I have a leak because like I said, I have an above deck bilge. I have an above deck bilge, right? So all the water from the top deck drains to here. Now, I, I knew I had a leak coming in from the center console and it was, water was coming out of my drain plug right here. So, um, I was like, well, let me, you know, it being on e uneven ground, it's like, let me, you know, hook it up on my truck and, you know, pull it out and drain out the water. So I'm draining out the water and all of a sudden I smell something. I'm like, what the hell is that? gas starts flying out of here flying out of there so my gas tank has a leak in it which sucks because aluminum tanks are not cheap and it's a pain because now we got to get up those two chairs get up the center console somehow and that middle panel we got to unscrew all those things and and get the gas tank up and get it to you know get serviced or refinished so anyway guys that kind of sucks, but I'm trying to look at it. I was, re I was really, really upset, you know, because I was told the gas tank was just done, everything else. And most of you guys were like, well, how, how'd the gas tank just randomly get a hole in it if it was just refinished? So basically what happens, I actually just learned this. Um, I'm actually in boat mechanic school right now. Um, so if you guys put like garbage fuel in it, uh, like something that isn't just straight gasoline, the gas is gonna absorb moisture and moisture will corrode out an aluminum tank you know, moisture from the water will corrode out an aluminum tank, therefore creating a hole in it and gas comes pouring out, just like what happened. So I'm trying to look at it on the bright side, whereas, you know, I was gonna have to, you know, put a new sender in the fuel tank. I was gonna have to change my fuel fill line, you know, from the side of the gunnel to the gas tank. I was gonna have to change that anyway. So I'm trying to look at it on the bright side, but I'd be lying if I said, <laughs> I really didn't want to do this, at least on this boat anyway. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and get those chairs up, get the center console up, get that middle panel up, and take the tank out. And you know, inspect in the area inside the actual boat and look at how bad the damage is. So come along with me for the journey, guys, and let's get this done. So before I start um, you know, taking out the chairs and stuff like that, just so I can be a little bit more organized, um, I'm gonna go ahead and write down, I got separate like plastic bags. I'm going to write what hardware is going in which bag, just so that when we assemble everything back together, it won't be too difficult. So we're going to start with the, uh, the seats. So we're starting with the seats. So we'll go ahead and take up the seats and put all the hardware in there. So let's get to it. Hopefully these uh, screws aren't 5200 in it in, if that's even a word. Of course they are. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna get a different drill, a little bit of a high impact drill, see if we can get them out. Well, I already broke through two drill bits. I was only able to get one screw up from the chairs, so I got some stuff at this store. Um, it's called D-Bond. It'll break through the 5200. Um, that's holding the chairs to the deck, but funny enough, I got one screw already up easily from the floor, so we're just gonna go ahead and take the console up, take the floor up, worry about the chairs later, cause that's gonna be a pain. But let's get this console up, boys.
Are we sure this is not rolling anywhere? That's good. Well, guys, look how crazy this is. <laughs> we got the center console up, guys. This is crazy. So the chairs are, are stuck on the panel right now, so we're just going to have to leave those, and we're just going to get this middle panel up. You know, for, we'll get the shop back, clean all this up, and then we'll get the middle panel up, and hopefully get the gas tank out. So... Oh boy, crazy, crazy stuff. Well guys, got the area pretty much cleaned up a little bit from all that rotted wood. So next step is go get go ahead and get all these useless screws up and get this panel up so we can go ahead and uh, get this gas tank out. Hopefully these come up easy guys. Let's see, I'm using my Milwaukee drill, so let's see. Yeah. There we go. See if I can recycle these screws, but I'll end up probably buying new hardware, guys. Just probably the smart thing to do. So I'm having a problem getting the floor up, you know, because there's 5200 around the, the, the ceiling, the panel for the gas tank. So I just got I went ahead and got back from buying this stuff. It's a uh, it's called Debond Marine Formula. Supposedly it'll eat up and break the bond of a uh, of 5200. So we'll see how good that really is. <laughs> Holy cow! Are you recording? Yeah. Let's see how bad the hole is on the bottom of this sucker. We have fuel spewing out. record me just pull up the camera alrighty guys so it's the next day and I actually figured out what the problem was with the fuel spewing out of the top so my vent is actually clogged because there's so much pressure in the tank that the second that the hose went off the fuel came spewing out so to counter that I went ahead and just opened up my uh, my my gas fill took off one of the lines and we're good so i don't want this tank up too too long obviously you know expose the elements everything else but i have to be able to get new hoses for it 
um, or I have to replace the hoses on it, should I say. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take off our fuel line, take off our fuel fill and the, uh, the vent hose, take all those off so we can get some measurements and um, so we can get some new hoses on in there. So I'll uh, show you how to do that. We're gonna take off our little fill cap too, so yeah. Basically what was happening, I don't know if I explained this earlier, is that the pressure from the heat and the tank, because it wasn't properly vented, because the vent was all clogged, the, uh, the gas was rising up and gas was getting all in the fuel chamber. So thankfully, there's its own chamber for the gas tank, so it's not affecting stringers and all the rest of the hull, but gas was just sitting in there. And over time, a lot of time, gas will um, go ahead and you know degrade or eat up the fiberglass. So it's just one thing after another, man. So I gotta pull the tank to go ahead and clean everything out. I gotta do new fuel lines, new vent, which is not a big deal, just the process of getting the 100 gallon aluminum tank out is a little difficult without a uh, proper tools <laughs> so i'm not gonna be able to do it this video guys i really want to get a video out um but it's just it's just so aggravating man one thing after another i mean you buy a boat that's you know you thought it was a little bit better condition and boy whew, was i wrong i mean it's not like it's bad condition but there's a lot more work that needed to go be done um than i thought so and i only have 30 days to you know work on it at my house anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and get this video out guys and um we'll go ahead you guys will see me next week uh go ahead and pull the tank out clean everything out we have to do a little bit of fiberglass work and i'll show you guys on what and um we'll get everything rocking and rolling and and on to the next steps in the next video so thank you guys for watching this one this has been part one of the robalo uh rebuild series and um if you guys enjoyed leave a like please it helps out the video helps out the channel helps people find the channel Leave a comment down below what you guys think. And uh, follow me on Instagram, guys. I'm going to go and pop it up. And um, follow me on Instagram. You guys get a bunch of behind the scenes. I post on my story, everything else. And if you guys want to DM me, feel free. I like talking to you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next Robalo video or fishing video or whatever comes next. <laughs> thank you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.